Be blessed. Bye. Hit that subscribe button. I just want to say it. <laughs> you like it? Thank you. I used the new palette. <laughs> hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look with this here new Juvia's Place Wahala palette, just keep on watching. Thanks. Hey, beautiful people. This is your girl, Shimon Monet. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what we got today? <laughs> Guess what I got today? I got a new palette. Hey, I got a new palette. Hey, anybody who's been rocking my channel for any length of time, y'all know how I feel about Juvia's Place. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love Juvia's Place, and I haven't bought, I haven't bought anything from them since their foundation. And I'm not sure if anything else has actually dropped since the foundation sticks. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a little excited. But yeah, I got the Wahala palette from Juvia's Place. Wahala Translation Drama. So it comes in this huge box. It was bubble wrapped. I took all of that off already. But y'all, this palette is nice and big. Just the size comparison, this is the Masquerade. So it's not quite as big as the Masquerade palette. I think, I think the Magic and the Masquerade might be like the two biggest ones. So... Just the size comparison. It's a little bit smaller than these two. But it's still a really big palette. This is what the back looks like. Has 20 shadows. And it does come with the film on top. <laughs> but y'all. Would you look at this color story? As soon as they posted it. First of all, it's limited edition. So... The day they posted it, I snagged it. I was like, you know what? This these colors are phenomenal. The um, what do they call them? The glitter, yeah. The glitter shades are what really like caught my attention. Um, this shade right here, clout, and then Yanga. I was like, oh, those are so gorgeous. Um, and even the way that they have it kind of set up, it kind of already is giving you like some color story ideas. Of course, the purples are beautiful. Um, but yeah, I really, really just was like, okay, I have to get this. So it is limited edition. I know they were taking a poll on Instagram. I believe it was yesterday or the day before to see if they should do another release because they did sell out. Um, and guess what your girl woke up to today? I posted um, a video in my stories yesterday and I woke up today and Juvia's Place had shared the first portion of one of my stories. So your girl was feeling real good. So I'm super excited to get into this palette. I haven't swatched it. I literally took the video. I looked at it. I made sure all the colors were good, but I haven't swatched anything. So I'm going to swatch a couple of shades. First, I'll start with some of the mattes. I'm going to swatch BU. Okay, that's pretty. I'm going to swatch Fire, which is like a red shade. It's not like a red shade, which is a red. That was a little chalky. Let's try that again. And you know what? I have lotion on my hands, too. That's Fire. I'm going to swatch Busybody next. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really bright. It almost reminds me of the cover. Yeah, this is almost like a perfect match to the cover of the Masquerade, that hot pink shade. Okay, so those are three of the mattes. Now I'm going to <laughs> get these colors off my fingers so that I can swatch some of the glitter shades for you. All right, so first I'm going to swatch Envy. <laughs> you guys see that? It's like a duochrome. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty. 
<gasps> All right, next I'm going to do Pepper Body, which is this gold, this gold right here. Y'all, <laughs> these glitters, do you see the pigmentation? I hope y'all can see that, like, okay. I'm going to do clout next. Ooh, ooh, I didn't even swatch it yet. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like the ocean. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, these shades, okay, I'm going to do Yonder, which is the other one that I saw where I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. <sighs> Y'all, okay, let's get to work. Let's get to work. I'm so excited, y'all. These are so pretty. Okay. So honestly, I already knew what look I wanted to do, but now that I see the shades, it just confirmed it. I definitely got to do a look with clout. Like, this is so dope. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Oh, and sometimes glitter could feel like really like gritty. It felt so smooth and buttery. It's soft though. So like as I was swatching it, I kind of dug into them a little bit just because they were I wasn't anticipating that they were gonna be that soft. But you guys, can y'all see this? Okay. I'm gonna just leave them there. Let's just get started. So I wanna do oop, I wanna do okay. Yeah, I wanna do a look with clout, and clout is like blue and purple. So I'm just trying to find what other transition shades I want. The reason why I had the Masquerade and Magic next to me is because I kind of had a feeling already what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go into the Masquerade palette first so that I can get some transition shades going. And then we'll get into uh, this Magic palette. So I'm taking Burkina and Ada from the Masquerade palette just so I can... Build up my transitions. Y'all, I'm so excited. Next, I'm going to go into a purple. And I wanted a dome shape brush. Here we go. I'm going to go into Zobo in the Masquerade palette. Let's see. Is that? That'll do the trick gonna go into Zobo and really pack this on gonna go back and I'm not gonna take any new color but I'm just gonna brush out this harsh line Okay, now I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to go into BU. And I'm going to put that right, right below. Turn that down, babe. I can hear it, which means it's too loud in your ears. Now, I don't even really want to cut the crease. I kind of just want to slather this all over my, all over my it lid. Like the bottom's going by twos. Um. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, ah, all right. I want to darken this up a little bit. Do I have a darker purple in it over here? I don't. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to darken this up a little bit. I'm going to grab some of this Yohiti, this dark, this dark blue right here. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with the fluffier brush for this glue shade that I'm trying to build up right in here. It's not really doing what I want it to do. All right, I'm going back into the purple, the Zobo, because that wasn't, that wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. All right, I'm going to kind of fake a cut crease, but not even really fake a cut crease. I'm going to kind of do a quick kind of cut crease. Just taking some LA Girl Concealer in Natural. All right, so in this outer in this outer area, I'm going to go in with BU. Then next, I'm going to go in with that Zobo color from the Masquerade palette. All right, now let's get into, <laughs> let's get into clout. I'm gonna take clout and I'm gonna actually apply it with my fingers first. Ooh, y'all. All right, now I'm going to go in with a, like a concealer brush so that I can get this more precise. And now that I'm doing it, maybe I should have put a solid color behind it, but I, you can really, you really can't even see through it. But maybe it would have, um, blended a little bit better. Not blended. I don't know. I mean, as far as like the rest of the look blended better. Y'all, this is so pretty. All right. Now I'm going to take some of Yanga. So I just went in with clout. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this one. All right, y'all, this is really pretty, but this is not giving me the look that I was going for. All right, so I'm gonna do this eye a little different. I'm gonna pack more color underneath and let's see if I like this eye better. So I'm gonna take the same transition shades, Burkina, Ada, for just the beginning. Switch it up a bit, see which eye I like better. do it a little bit kind of like completely different so this is that blue shade you have there I'm just packing it on first 
So I'm really just using the brush to cut the crease versus the concealer. Packing this shade on first. Now I'm gonna go in to Zobo, that purple color from the Masquerade palette. I think I'm gonna like this one better though because I put the, the color underneath it so when I do add this shimmer, I'll have that, that built up effect I'm looking for on the outer V. Taking those two darker bluish purplish shades at the bottom of the Magic palette with the fluffy, fluffy, fluffy blending brush. So I can kind of get that drama I'm looking for. <laughs> drama? that drama I'm looking for in this outer V and then I'm gonna keep working in this little purple and um, then I'll go in and add the shimmer. Now I'm feeling like I should switch the whole color. I feel like the purple, I feel like this shade would be really pretty on that. How about I do that? Let's just do two different eye looks and let's just see. Because I already used that, so you guys can see the color. I'm not in love with the look, but you guys can see the color. And with this one, I'll do a whole different, I'll do a different color. All right, I'm content with that. So for this eye, I'm going to go in with Envy. I'm going to use my fingers once I clean them off. And again, I'm using a cotton pad with some micellar water on it. Clean that off. I'm going to go in with Envy. Woo. And it's almost giving like a similar effect, y'all. That's gorgeous. That's really, really, really pretty, y'all. I'm gonna swatch it again, be again because I have blue in the background. That's the color it's picking up. I like this eye. I like, I like, I like it. I'm gonna take a little bit of Unafraid and pop it right on top. Yeah, right in the middle. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so I like this eye better. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one off now and do this over here and I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's go into this face real quick. Got some primer, as y'all can see, this glitter is not coming off. <laughs> I had to re moisturize my face. Just massaging in my e.l.f. primer. I'm gonna do something I've never done yet, but I'm gonna mix some of, so I'm the shade Benin, it's like a perfect match in the shade sticks. I'm gonna mix this with a little bit of the liquid foundation, which is super full coverage. So that should be more than enough. So I originally grabbed the shade 150 candle. This is what I'm using. I feel like it works, but it's a little red on me. 
So I just haven't gotten another shade because I don't know if I'm going to get Togo or Tanzan Tanzania, I believe it is. Either like 205 or 210. I'm not sure. I keep looking and debating. I think I'm just going to wait until I can go back into a store and actually test it out. But I'm going to go in with concealer number 12. And since we're going glam, I'm going to do, you know, I'm just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to take it there. Let me do all this. We're going to do it today. And this concealer actually spreads OD, so let me not get too carried away. I do feel like my face is irritated from me trying to um, scrub off all of that glitter. Face feels a little irritated, like maybe the glitter was scratching my face. So just be careful. While that concealer is sitting, I'm just gonna contour.
All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Y'all, this palette forced me to go places that I don't typically go. I'm a soft glam girl all day. Oh, but I love them. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, okay. Y'all. Not that I expected anything less because it's a Juvia's place. They always come through with just amazing quality. So again, the eyes are Juvia's place. Skin is Juvia's place. I will list everything that I use down below in the description bar. But thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. This is a thing with makeup. I really just started to have fun with this look. I had an idea. I had a look in the color skin that I thought I was going with. But you guys saw what happened when the first eye wasn't feeling it. Did something different and I absolutely love this look. So I'll still go back and do the color scheme I was thinking of. Just do it, right? <laughs> I probably won't film it. I'll probably just do a look with it and post some pictures. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram so that you can see some more phenomenal looks with this palette. But I would suggest if color is your thing, if shimmers and glitters are your thing, that if they relaunch this palette, I would strongly suggest that you pick it up. Um, their palettes are actually really affordable. This is one of their higher price palettes. This might even be the most expensive palette that they've launched, if my memory serves me correctly. But you guys, it's worth it. Again, if you are a makeup junkie like I am, if you love quality pigment shadows, you guys saw like the, bl the blendability, the pigment is there. It's a really, really good palette. I don't have any complaints. Again, when you're working with glitter, glitter falls and it makes a mess. So that's to be expected. Honestly, like I said, these glitters were still super soft. I was really surprised. So just be careful um, when you're applying them because they are soft. But y'all, this is bomb. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the family, what you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. But until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye. Hit that subscribe button. I just want to say it. <laughs>